most mundane. Chris and Martin saw something strange. A little leaping lemur who liked to bounce and play. They followed their new bouncing friend, not knowing where this adventure would end. The animals were headed just around the bend. Where are they going? I don't know. How do we get there? Come on, let's go. Sticky. That octopus we saw in the second dive was incredible. Yeah! But take a whiff. Ooh, what's that smell? <laughs> hey, you! That is stinky. Martin, where are they? Where's what, Chris? Your sneakers. They're stinkier than ever. This smell's not coming from my sneakers. Besides, they smell just fine. But that smell. We know what the smell is, but let's see if Zabu knows what creature made that stink. Zabu! Hey, Zabu! Zabu, Zabu The lemur has landed. Hey, Zabu, come on. There's some leaves over here you won't want to miss. Hey! But you would have found these leaves anyway, because lemurs have a great sense of smell. All right. What snack smells really good? I know. Yeah. I have a sweet smelling snack for you, buddy. Zabu, how about some kiwi fruit? Zabu loves kiwi. There you go. Hey, hey kiwi, that's a good fruit. Kiwi. <laughs> I'm Fuki. I eat kiwi. Smells great. <laughs> Chris, Martin, why are your hands attached to your noses? Are you picking them? <laughs> no, we're not picking them. We're holding our noses. That stinks, Zob. Can you smell it? Oh, yeah. Big smell. On my way here, I saw an animal in the forest. There was the same smell then. The same smell. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He had a furry body and a sniffy nose. And everybody was sniffing him because this creature was stinky. Pee you. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. His tail was black and white, and his legs were stubby. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? A black and white furry stinker. Do you know who he is? All right, we have this one figured out. A black furry body. Big white stripe. Walks like this. Woo-wee! That's a skunk, all right. A skunk! Hey, come on down and have a close look at this amazing creature. <laughs> you, Manga Stinka, Mystery Animal's here. Oh, a skunk! I can't believe my mind! That's who made the smell, a skunk. Wow, what a big smell from a little creature. Are you sure skunk made such a big stink? You better believe it, Sob. <laughs> Once you've smelled that smell, you'll never forget that a skunk made. Yeah, and a skunk always smells like this. And she smells even stronger when she's scared. That's why you have to be extra careful around skunks. Number one rule, never scare a skunk. Yeah, because a skunk has a built-in defense system that'll blow your nose off. Well, who would scare such a mungatsika little animal? Well, Zob, the only creature who would scare a skunk is a creature who hasn't learned about stinky skunk spray or is too hungry to care. 
That's right, one time we saw a cougar heading towards the skunk. The skunk was a little nervous about it, but the cougar didn't get too close. He had a full belly, and he knew rule number one, never scare a skunk. So he left the skunk alone? Yup, he turned around and went away. And the skunk went on his way too. What if they don't know that big rule, huh? Well, the last thing a skunk wants to do is spray, so she'll give a lot of warnings before she actually does it. If a skunk is thinking about spraying, she gives warning number one, foot stomping. If that doesn't work, she moves over to warning sign number two, the handstand. A handstand? Really? Yeah. Ah! Oof. If that doesn't work, she sprays. <laughs> that usually works. <gasps> Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Don't scare the skunk, whatever you do. She smells bad enough now, even without spraying. <laughs> when a skunk sprays, she can spray her skunk stink 16 feet. That's this far. Whoa, that's far. Hmm, you're a far sprayer, skunk. Oh, P.O. Oh, yeah, yeah, P.O. She's a stinky one. Oh. Ah. I'm going to call her Stinker. Yeah, Stinker the Skunk. I like that name. Stinker, 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 Stinker. Guys, how come the smell was here before the skunk arrived? Good question, Zob. And the smell is so strong for one skunk. Something's going on here. Yeah, how did the smell get here before the skunk? Maybe there's other stinkers here, like a dwarf lemur. Dwarf lemurs don't smell like skunk smell, but they're the stinkiest lemurs in Madagascar. But I don't see any dwarf lemurs or any other stinky creatures here, so what could it be? The only stinky creature I can see is Stinker, and I can't believe my mind how stinky she is. Well, a skunk is one of the smelliest creatures in the world, and fortunately, she's not scared, for now anyway. Well, I'm not gonna scare the skunk, no way. I know the number one rule. Never scare a skunk. Let's give our skunky friend a snack. Whoa! Maybe that'll help us figure out what the other stink is. Let's see. Mongoose, horse, oh, skunk. Hey! Chris! <laughs> hey, Chris, leave some for a skunk. <laughs> or if they're Google Bears, count me in. Oh, yeah. oh. oh boy, we're skunking these blueberries down. <laughs> So's the skunk. That skunk has big claws for such a little animal. I know, a skunk needs big claws for digging and burrowing. And for catching food, like insects, crayfish, and frogs. Well, he sure loves those blueberries. Who doesn't? Look, a fox. Does fox know the number one rule? Well, it usually takes an animal only one skunk spray to learn not to mess with the skunk. Huh. Let me go see. <laughs> Oh, Fox better watch it or he'll get sprayed. Oh, he's just here for a drink of water. Everything's okay, Stinker. I guess Fox knows the number one rule. He's not gonna scare our skunk friend. Bye, Fox. Now Stinker doesn't have to send Fox away with her smell. You got it, Zob. Animal smells are like a language. Different kind of smells mean different things. Watch this. This is a come and get it kind of smell. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that's a go away kind of smell. Oh boy, that's bad. Go away and come and get it smells. This reminds me of one time in Zabuland. I was leap leaping along. Leap, 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 <laughs> leap, 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 leap. When I bumped into Sensei. 
Oh, 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 I sense it. Hi, Zabu. I'm following a smell. What kind of a smell? Oh, I come and get it kind of smell. You know, a good smell. <laughs> well, sense it. You do have the best sniffing nose in Zabu land. Oh, I do, I do. <laughs> well, maybe Snow Lemur knows about the smell, too. Oh, hello there. No! no! Don't sneak up on a guy like that. Oh, oh uh, sorry, oh. sense it. Uh, I, I lost my ice fruit cake, and uh, it has a come and get it kind of smell, but... <laughs> My nose is uh, stuffed up, so I, I can't smell it, and that's why I can't find it. Yeah, yeah I can't find it. Hey, huh? hey, I think I smell it now. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Oh, oh Zabu smells it too. Yeah, I'll follow my nose and get the ice fruit cake. Oh, so that's oh, what I did. Cake. We were all so happy that the ice fruit cake, with the come and get it smell, was found. We danced on it before we ate it. The end. <laughs> Skunks make a go away smell. Not a come and get it smell. You got it, Zob. And skunks aren't the only animals to use smell to send a message. Oh. A leopard will scent mark, which means spraying a smell, to tell other creatures, hey, back off, this is my place. It's kind of like writing your name on something, but with smells instead of letters. Hey, you know what? I scent mark too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> smells good, Zob. Oh, thanks. You know what? I'm going to make my own Chris smell so I can scent mark things too. Oh no, another Chris invention. Oh, P.U., that's worse than a skunk. <coughs> oh, oh, P.U. Uh. What do you think, Zob? Oh yeah, that's a big Chris smell, all right. Oh. Zob, you okay? Oh yeah, I just, just need some air. Error. Time to scent mark my things. Okay, I'll see a few drops on the kayak. Manga Chica. Oh, backpack, I can't forget that. Everything's gonna be really stinky. Yeah. Basketball. Oh, great. Dab up here on the raft. Woohoo! Yeah, and my shoes. Now you'll know which things are mine just by smelling. Oh. doesn't scare the skunk. Don't get scared, Stinker. Oh. Mm, at least Stinker didn't get scared, but I knew I should have put my bowl of spaghetti back in the fridge. <laughs> 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 Smells like a come here smell to me. Yep, we were right. Well, that's one of the great things about Animal Junction. There's always a creature cleaner upper around. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Come here, I need a lot of help cleaning up. <laughs> <laughs> he likes spaghetti. Good job, Watson. Hey, Watson's on to another smell. Oh, let me see, let me see. <laughs> what smell do you smell, Watson? Hey, do you smell something too, Stinker? What is it? Well, let me see, let me see. Hey, Chris, Martin, there's something else here. <laughs> 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 But hey, ah! how come she sprayed us? <laughs> Sorry, Zob, we forgot to tell you about rule number two. Don't get too close to a skunk's babies. She'll want to protect them. Skunk babies? Well, that's why the smell was in Animal Junction before Stinker. Her babies were here the whole time. Wow, skunk babies. Oh, too close. These skunk babies look like they're about two weeks old. Their eyes are still closed, and skunks are even born stinky. Hey, they're starting to get on their feet. Look at them go. Pretty soon, they'll be following their mom in a nice little line. Well, this is better, huh? <laughs> For you, maybe. <laughs> what? Sabu, all I can smell is skunk. Yeah, <laughs> and I smell just like them now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stinky. I'm skunky. I'm even black and white. I'm feeling skunkish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel skunkish. How about you? Skunkish. Feeling skunkish. Skunkish. I'm a cool little stinker and my stink smells good. Skunkish. 
Babu, this time you really are skunkish. Hmm, oh, he stinks. Yeah, and we have to do something about this stinky situation. We must find an antidote. Okay, Stinker, get ready for a Crack Brother invention. Ah, one beaker extract of sweetness. Guess it's good to guess, ah, uh, flowers. Ah, smell them, yes. <laughs> Special crack powder. Very good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, are, are, are you sure that's gonna get rid of my stink? You know, Stinker, sometimes these Crack Brothers are really silly. Oh, it's much closer now. <laughs> Copper electro-induced honeydew. Don't put too much. Careful. Oh, now, now, for smoothing, we have the milk. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's ready. <laughs> well, it looks, um, awfully, uh, uh, awfully, uh, awful. Yes! We did it! The skunk stink antidote! <laughs> right. Let's get Zabu. Come on, Zab, you ready? Um, are you sure it's gonna get rid of my uh, stink? I mean, oh, Zab, it looks... this is gonna make you smell so good like you've never smelled before. Well, it looks You're awfully, gonna... awfully, um, awful. <laughs> okay, 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 ready? Ready, Zab? One, two, three. In you three. go! <gasps> It's okay. Sabu? Sabu! <laughs> it's okay! <laughs> you smell great! <laughs> I don't stink like a skunk anymore! <laughs> I stink like a lemur. <laughs> but I kind of like the skunk smell. Yeah, a skunk stink is a good stink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of getting used to it, too. It's a good thing, because those skunks will be here for another five weeks. Yeah, and then they'll leave the nest, follow their mom, and wander off behind her. Hey, somebody's dive bombing in. Duck! Welcome back. <laughs> it's Stinky Feet. Get it? Stinky Feet. <laughs> <laughs> Not Stinky Feet, Stinky Feet, the Peregrine Falcon. Hey, the Sticky Feet scent mark? Well, he doesn't scent mark, Zob. Birds mainly use sounds to talk to each other. Hey, and let's see what Jackie's talking about. Oh, yeah. Just five minutes ago, we were playing ball when Watson ran up to us. Boy, did he stink. Pete, you, does that dog stink? I could tell Watson had been sprayed by a skunk. We had to do something. Come on. We had to give Watson a bath, and fast. So we got lots of tomato juice to give him a bath. But Watson had other ideas. <laughs> Watson? <laughs> Watson, come back. Good boy. The tomato juice took most of the skunk smell out of Watson's fur. You smell much better now, Watson. I bet you he never goes near a skunk again. No, I bet you won't. Way to go, Jackie. Tomato juice is a great way to get rid of skunk smell. And now Watson understands all about the skunk's smelly language. And so do I. <laughs> hey, speaking of smelly languages, let's go find some real stinkers. To the closet. Well, I think they're going on a trip now. They're going on a trip. Mm -hmm, they are. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. To the they're closet! to the closet to grab their stuff and split. <laughs> oh. Great! The stinkometer. It can help us find any animal by his or her smell. Let's go find the stinkiest animals we can find. Are you coming? All right. They're going on a cool adventure Where and they don't, don't know, know what's in store. store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Okay. The stinkometer is gonna help us find some stinky creatures. Does it smell anything yet? I don't think so. Whoa, hold on! It senses something from behind those roots. Let's check it out. A vinegaroon. A vinegaroon looks a lot like a scorpion, but they don't sting. See that long tail? That tail is used to spread. <laughs> now that's stinky. That's because we just got sprayed by a vinegaroon. 
When a vinegaroon's surprised, he sprays, kind of like a skunk, and his spray smells like vinegar. That's how he got his name, Vinegaroon. And now we smell like vinegaroons too. Let's go find some more stinky creatures, come on. The stinkometer's going berserk. There must be another stinky creature around. Watson, three o'clock. Watsons are super stinkers. They're even called stink birds. That's because her nest and body smell like cow poop. She eats so many leaves that sit in her belly for so long that she starts to stink. What a cool bird. And you know, after hanging out with the Watsons, I think we're starting to smell a little Watson-ish. Yeah, now we smell like vinegaroons and Watsons. Howler monkeys overhead! <laughs> Howler monkeys are big, and they've got big voices, too. These guys are loud. No kidding. They don't call them howler monkeys for nothing. Every morning, they all howl to let each other know where they are. But most of the time, howler monkeys are pretty quiet, just eating and sleeping. What's going on? Howler monkeys don't stink. Whoa, but they're poop dogs, poop bombs. Look out. Look out, Martin, he's taking aim. Whoa. You know? <laughs> The funny thing about monkeys is, is that some monkeys actually like pooping on people who walk underneath them. <laughs> that was close. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> now we're soaked. Well, at least we don't smell like a vinegaroon, a Watson, and a howler monkey anymore. <laughs> yeah, that crap bowl really cleaned us off. <laughs> the stinker meter. You know where it's pointing? Yeah, straight to Animal Junction. Come on. I What's really it picking up? Right? I don't get it. Like it. Like it's it. going berserk. The stinkometer's overheating. There must be something really stinky going on in there. Do you want to find out what? All right, let's go. <laughs> stinky! If you're a stinky creature, come on in. A fisher. Fisher? Ferrets. Ferrets. Mink. Mink. And Stinker the Skunk. All members of the Mustelid family. Mustelids? Mustelids, I love mustelids. <laughs> mustelids are my favorite animal. <laughs> What's a mustelid? Mustelids are carnivorous weasel-like creatures, and they're all stinkers. A fisher is one of the larger mustelids, a good climber and a good swimmer. Let's meet the others. Come on. <laughs> Meeting mustelids. <laughs> hey guys, come here, look. Ah, the ferrets. Ferrets are long, thin, slinky little weasels. And a ferret's body is designed for going through holes and getting into tight places. Whoa! In some ways, ferrets remind me of a furry little snake. Hey, he's sniffing me. Hey. You gonna climb on? That slinky one likes the snack machine, like me. <laughs> they're not only slinky, they're stinky. Hey, another mustelid. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Don't go to sleep. I'm not your mom. Hey, Chris, Martin, look at these Mungatsika creatures. Oh, yeah. Baby mink. Oh, wow. Mink are an all-around mustelid. They're great on the land and in the water. These mink are only about seven weeks old, so they don't know how to swim yet. They may be too young to swim, but they're old enough to stink. <laughs> pee you. Uh... All of these stinky mustelids remind me of someone in Zabu land. Oh. <sighs> I was sleep sleeping along. Sleep, 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 <laughs> sleep, sleep, <laughs> sleep. <laughs> when baby Zabumafuasaurus came up to me. <laughs> hey, Zabu! How are you doing? <laughs> ah? Well, I'm fine, baby, but um. What? 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 <laughs> What's the matter? Well, it's your breath. It huh? smells kind of stinky. <sighs> have you been eating Zika stink cheese? I have, Zabu. I guess that's why my breath is stinky. Hey, Zabu, uh, and you? Hi, Bugly. I can't dig this stinky smell. Let's get out of here. Good Whoa. idea. Whoa. <laughs> I better do something about my breath. Well, I can still smell that stink. Let's go Whoa. high in the sky where it smells nice. So we flew high in the fresh air around Mama Zabumafusaurus. Hey, everybody! I ate some sweet fruit. I think my breath smells much better. 
Oh, good boy. And it was true. Baby's stinky breath was gone. In fact, his breath smelled really good. The end. <laughs> Baby's breath stunk sweet. Definitely an I like you smell. <laughs> I had such a stinky time today. It was great. And I loved it when you guys de-stinked me. <laughs> I liked when we found all those stinkers with the stinkometer. And those little baby skunks. What incredible creatures. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by. We're glad you came. Stinky Mustelids. Bye, Stinker and Little Stinkers. Bye, brothers. Bye, Zob. Well, we smelled a lot of smells and met a lot of stinkers today. What do you say we get some fresh air? Windsurfing? Windsurfing! Wind See you later. My name is Nigel and my rat's name is AJ. Talk to me. Whoa, what a load. Oh. Good thing we have some help. Yeah, pull, boy, pull. Keep going, boy. Come on, we're almost there. You're doing great. Uh, <laughs> Just a little further. We're almost there, yes. Woo, hi there. Have you seen Zabu? Zabu's not gonna believe his mind when he finds out what's in this wagon. Let's call him. Zabu! Zabu Mafu! Zabu! Hey, Zabu! He's here! Hey, Zabu! Do you have any idea what's in that wagon? I don't think he knows, but we'll never know if he knows or not until we give him a snack. I got it. Celery! Sabu, how about celery? Hey, here, have this one. Chris, you want a piece? Yeah, thanks. This celery's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Give me some of the food! <laughs> Hello, did you see that? I can't believe my mind. What's in the wagon? Maybe the little dog knows. Look, can he help pull it? Hey, little dog, can you talk to me? What's in the uh, wagon? Yeah, that wagon that you were pulling. The one right there behind you, buddy dog. Oh. Yeah, that tickles my, he's tickling my tail, but I don't know what he's saying. Well, I can't understand what he's talking about. He's not telling you, huh? No. But well, you're just gonna have to figure it out somehow. Thanks for the muscle, buddy. Hey, can somebody please tell me what's in the wagon? Can somebody please talk to me? Huh? huh? Do you know who that is? I do. He's telling me by that sound he's making. And we were talking in the forest this morning. Do you know who? Who could it be? <laughs> who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? <laughs> he had a big gray body and four thick legs. that made lots of sounds. It was talking to me. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? A long-nosed talking creature. Do you know who he is? Well, every creature can talk in his or her own way. But there's only one creature who talks like that. An elephant! Toothbrush! So good to see you again. Yeah, how you been? Mangatsika, mystery animals here. It's Toothbrush. Did you know it was Toothbrush? Yeah, Toothbrush. Maybe he knows what's in the wagon. 
Well, he's really smart. And so much more. I love elephant tails. Look at these long, black, wiry bristles. And they're all in a line. Look at that tail. <laughs> Amazing. Now come on over to the other end. Have you ever looked right into an elephant's eye? You can see that these creatures have feelings. And they communicate their feelings and tell each other things in a lot of ways. One way is by using their long trunks. Elephants touch each other with those trunks to tell one another that they're there and that everything's okay. And these two are using their trunks to tell each other, hey, let's play. my mind. <laughs> hey, brothers, why are you making the same sounds as toothbrush? <laughs> That's how elephants call each other over. Elephants are always talking to each other because they live in groups or herds and have to communicate to survive. Oh, so they talk so they can stay together. Yeah, that's one reason, Zabu. Come here, come here. Brothers, let's see what's in the wagon. My mind keeps asking me, what's in the wagon? All right, time to unload, let's go. Okay, one, two, <laughs> we need help from a creature who knows how to move heavy things. A creature so strong, he can even knock down trees. Or a support post. Whoa! Whoa, hey, Toothbrush, don't knock down Animal Junction. Well, come tip the wagon, okay? Over here, Toothbrush, we need your help. help. Yeah, use that trunk and give us your elephant power. I think he's got the idea. But Zabu, stay clear. The stuff's gonna fall out the other side. I'm finally gonna find out what's in the wagon. I can't wait to see. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Where's Zabu? Zabu? <laughs> what is all this stuff? Letters. Letters. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> letters. Letters, Zabu. Letters like in letters from the people who see us on TV. Hmm. These letters are messages from people who want to tell us something. Oh, really? Well, what do they say? Well, this one, Zabu, is from Danielle. And it says, Dear Krat Brothers, I really like your show with Zaboomafu. I know the words to all the songs on the show, and uh, I like when Zabu pushes the food buttons and food comes out. Oh, me too. Especially when the food's for me. Whoa! <laughs> I also like when you guys go to the closet and the things fall on top of you, and when you swing and fall in the mud. Can you do that some more? Oh, sure we can. She likes it. Come on, let's do it for her. All right. All right. <laughs> there they go. They're going to do it, Danielle. They're talking my language. That reminds me of when Sai sent us a message in Sabu Land. I was leaping along. Leap, 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 <laughs> leap, 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 leap. When I heard a voice from above. Talk to me. Talk to me. Hey, did you guys hear that? And why are you hiding? Hmm? Oh, um, I can't talk now, Zabu. Oh. Gotta go. That's me. I, I'm out of here. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm so late, Sonny. What is the matter with everyone? Why won't anyone talk to me? Hmm? Would somebody talk to me? And where did that voice come from? I only wanted someone to talk to me. I want to talk and play. Do you want to play with me? I told him we all like to talk and play, and I threw him a Goobleberry. Oh, 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 nice. oh, hey, he's all right. Oh, thanks. A catch oh, knocking yeah, through. So we played and talked to our new friend, Sai, all day. The end. <laughs> I want to talk to more letters. <laughs> Let's do another one. I'm going to get one this time and open it. Oh. This one. Huh. It's not talking to me. That's just because you haven't learned how to read yet. You see, reading and writing is a special way that humans communicate. And the animals make special sounds to communicate with each other. And creatures of the same species understand the sounds each other makes. Creatures talk to each other. Otters chirp, but only humans write letters. I can't believe my mind. 
So letters can talk to you. Mungazika. Yeah, a lot of times mm -hmm. humans talk like we're doing right now. Uh -huh. But sometimes humans talk by reading and writing. Oh, well, uh, read this one to me. Okay. Let's see. Whoa, look at this one. Oh, beautiful. It says, Dear Zabumafu, hi, my name is Gabrielle. Hi, Gabrielle. I am five. I like your friend Toothbrush. Hear that, Toothbrush? Chris and Martin, are you really brothers? Yes. Yeah, we're brothers. Love, Gabrielle. Please write back. Well, what does that mean, please write back? It means Gabrielle wants us to write one of these and send it to her. Oh, well, let's do it. Let's write one. All right. All right. Hey, wait for me. All right, so we have everything we need. Ready! All right, well, grab something. Whatever you want to write with, grab it, and let's get started. Where's the marker? <laughs> so, <laughs> not with your mouth, so. Huh? You use your hand. Grab it with your hand, uh -huh. just like that. Just like that. And you're okay. ready to go. Dear uh, Chris, I think we got to teach him the letters. Zabu. Your Zabu. Great. Zabu. Yeah, what? Now what you do is with the marker, you make the letters oh, yeah. and put them in order to oh, make yeah. the words you want to say. G, A, G B, Gab, E, E, L, L. How come so many L's? E. <laughs> that's the way it's spelled, Zabu. <laughs> okay. Gabrielle. There. Oh, oh, that's fun. So I just talked to Gabrielle by doing this. Exactly, oh. Zab. You're off to a great start, but oh, we're not finished hey, look yet. Who's here? Brainiac. I gotta go talk to her. <laughs> hey, Brainiac. <laughs> You know what? I'm learning how to write. It's really fun. It really is. <laughs> Pretty funny, huh? <laughs> yeah. I love you, too. You want to play? Chimps have many different ways of talking, and they can say a lot just with the way they use their faces. Watch your face. Really closely. My mind. <laughs> okay, Zabu, Chris and I added some stuff. Oh, what'd you say? We said, yes, we are really brothers. Uh -huh. And you make really great pictures. <laughs> hey, I want to do a picture for our letter. All right, Zabu. So just grab the paints and the paint brushes and go for it. There, I'm going to draw a picture of me and, uh, <laughs> well, me. Here goes. Okay, I'll start with my head. Yeah. There we go. Me and there's my tail. My tail went off the page. <laughs> now I'll draw my ears and uh, my body. Yeah. My color. Yeah. I'll use my markers. Yeah. <laughs> I did my very first picture for my very first letter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you did a really good job on your face, too, Sabu. Huh? I did? Oh, yeah. Huh? It's towel time! Towel time? <laughs> okay, now what? Well, the next... Hey, the wolf pups are here. Do you pups want to talk? Wait up, I want to talk to you. You got it, Zabu. Wolves talk in their own way, too. And not just by howling. You see, a lot of different creatures, including wolves, leave their scent behind. That's because smell is an important way for wolves to communicate. A scent left behind can tell a wolf, hey, someone was here, and not that long ago. The scent tells a wolf who the other wolf that peed was, and all sorts of other things. Hey, what do you smell down there? Whoops, my tail. <laughs> Are you telling me you want to play? <laughs> what? Wolf pup's telling me he likes me. <laughs> I think you're right, Zabu. Brothers, I'm ready to go back to the letters now. Yeah. Okay, Zabu, let's finish off this letter. Oh, okay, what do we do? Well, now we have to sign it. Sign it? Yeah, I'll go first. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, it's your name. Yeah, and now I sign my name. Oh, okay. Well, what do I do? I don't know how to sign my name. Well, first put your hand in the ink. Oh, okay. Hand in the ink. Okay, and now no. slap your hand down on the letter. Oh, okay. That's your signature. Hey, lost and found! <laughs> I did it! I signed my first letter! See, look! Huh? <laughs> hey, lost and found signed it too! <laughs> oh. 
I get it. Lost and Found did sign it, just like the wolf did. This is a dog's way of talking. Yep, that's Lost and Found, all right. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Sabu. Peeing and pooping is a way that so many creatures talk to each other. Hmm. Me too. I can talk like that too. Let's see where I'm going to talk. Where to talk? Hmm. Huh? Ah, the perfect place. <laughs> so now we take the letter and the picture and put it in the envelope. Oh, that's easy. And now I just lick the envelope. Yeah. I mean, Martin licks the envelope. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, I mean, Zabu licks the envelope. Oh, well, okay. Uh, where do I lick it? Right there. Okay. That was the worst part, but you did it. Hey, I did it! Yeah. I wrote my first letter. High five! All right! High five! Right! <laughs> hey, lost and found too! Yeah! Yeah! You know what? Writing letters like people do is a fun way to talk. You know what she's saying? Time to play ball! <laughs> and you know, every animal has their favorite game. Even an elephant. She likes to kick a basketball. And an elephant has an advantage over us. She can kick with four legs, not only two. I'm on toothbrushes, team. Let's play. Uh. All right, toothbrush, let's see what you got. Oh, he's good. Whoa, I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel elephantish. How about you? Elephantish. I feel elephantish. <laughs> elephantish. I'm a big nose talker and I'm talking all the time. <laughs> So, um, how do we get this letter to Gabrielle? Well, we could use mail, express mail, hand delivery, or... What? Oh, crow! He took off with the letter. He has something. Huh? Let's take a look at this message from the animal helpers. Hi, guys. Hi, Zabu. My name's Garrett, and this is my friend, Zed. Sometimes Dad wakes me up in the morning. I like to run around a lot. Sometimes we just relax together. Sometimes we like to watch TV together. Dad, you're my best. That makes me want to check out more creatures. My mind smells a trip. To, to the, the closet. closet! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. <laughs> <laughs> and you never want to be caught without your walkie-talkies. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're Bye. headed out the door. Bye! Hi, brothers! Have fun talking to animals. Oh, and now that I know how to write letters, I'm gonna keep on writing them. And soon, I'm gonna get to yours! <laughs> Nothing's better than mountain biking in India. And there must be some talking creatures around here someplace. We just have to find out. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, there goes Chris. Whoa, Chris, whoa, your whoa. brakes. I don't have any. Oh, boy, that's pretty steep. Hang on. Woo-hoo. What a ride. Hey, bro, I have no idea where I am. I'm lost. 
But look at that! A herd of cheetle deer. Cheetle deer are the most common type of deer in this part of India. But where's Martin? A lot of cheetle, but no Martin. Hey, there's a langur monkey. But still no Martin. Where are you? Where is he? I've got to keep my eyes peeled and my ears open. Cheetles can hear everything. So if anybody knows where Martin is, they do. Let's see if the Cheetles can find him. I know how to make contact. Walkie talkies. Chris, come in, Chris, over. Chris, do you read? Over. Where are you, Chris? Over. Chris, where are you? Where are you? Over. Nothing. Chris, do you read? Over. Huh? Martin's in the backpack. Of course, the walkie talkie. Martin, you there? Over? Chris, is Martin here? Where are you? Over. I'm here at the edge of a meadow. With a herd of cheetle. And something's making them really edgy. Could be a tiger. Oh. It is a tiger. But you really don't want to be on foot around a hungry tiger. Martin, you better get me out of here. I'd love to, Chris, but I don't know where you are. Can you give me a signal or something? Over. Good idea, bro. How about a kite? All right, the wind's picking up. Fly like a vulture. Chris, I've got you spotted. Hurry up, because somebody else has me spotted, oh. too. Now I'm coming down. Hang in there, brother. Martin, you better get me out of here. I think he has me mistaken for a cheetle. What a tiger! Yeah, he's amazing! Did you know that a tiger catches one meal for every ten times he tries? Yeah! <laughs> Here's the creature communication. Back to Animal Junction. Hey, you think Sabi's still trying to answer all that mail? <laughs> Maybe. How many letters do you think he's gotten to? He's a fast learner. Who knows? <laughs> Oh, Sabu has everybody helping out. <laughs> and what a mess. <laughs> well, Zabu, you're giving it a great try. Yeah, but maybe elephants should stick to trumpeting and rumbling and talking with the touch of their trunks. Right, toothbrush? All right. Well, we still have a lot of letters to answer. Want to help, Fling? Yep, that's how you do it, Fling. You rip them open just like that. Yeah, good job, boy. Try that one. There you go. Rip that one open, too. Yeah, you really know how to open letters. Oh, so you want to help, too? <laughs> well, we have a lot of letters. We need all the help we can get. <laughs> Wait, we need to answer these letters. Know what? I guess letters aren't what animals do best. You got that right, Zabu. And macaws should be ripping into clay on clay banks and telling other flock members to find their own spot on the clay bank. And maybe white-fronted capuchins should be with their troop, making the sounds, body postures, and facial expressions that make up the monkey language. <laughs> right? And what about leaping lemurs like me? You're off to a great start, Sabumafu, uh -huh. but you still have a lot to learn about letter writing. Uh, I know. It's like how I had to learn how to talk to my friends in Sabu land. I was leaping along. Leap, 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 <laughs> leap, leap, leap. leap. Leap when I bumped into Wiggy Waxwing. <laughs> you know there's something wrong with Wiggy when she's running back and forth. What am I gonna do? Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. What's the matter, Wiggy? I said, talk to me. I'm working out. I can remember my Wiggy Waxwing song so I can tell everybody what a great day it well, was. That's too bad, Wiggy. Everybody has to have a song to sing. Well, Google? Google has his Googleberry song to tell everybody when he's hungry. And Narchi? Narchi has his trumpet song to announce his arrival. Suddenly, I remembered Wiggy's song, and I whispered it to her. Oh, thank you, Zabu! 
Wiggy started singing, and she was so happy that she had her song back, she sang and sang and sang. And everybody knew it was a really, really great day. The end. It's a good thing we have so many letters for you to learn how to write with. Yeah, it's great that so many kids wrote us such great letters. It sure is. Thanks a lot, everybody. Yeah, thanks a lot, everybody. You're my letter-writing animal friends. <laughs> now, let's see. Dear Martin and Chris. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his spine and behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. For dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing we have to say: go make an animal friend today. Yeah. <laughs> See you later, brothers. See you later, Zabu. Bye, Zab. Hey, let's go bike up a mountain. Great idea. We'll see you next time. Hi, my name's Jacqueline, and these are my fish, Goldie and Sarah. Zabu Mafu. With the Crab Brothers. While walking in the woods one day, Chris and Martin saw something strange. A little leaping lemur who liked to bounce and play. They followed their new bouncing friend, not knowing where this adventure would end. The animals were headed just around the bend. Where are they going? I don't know. How did we get there? Come on, let's go. Me and you and Sabuma Boo. Come along and see what's new. We're doing the things that animals do. New animal friends to see. Animal jumps is the place to be. Creature Neighbors. Zabu's gonna love this. Yeah, this is going to be the greatest treasure hunt ever. But we don't have much time. Zabu's gonna be here soon. Oh yeah, and we have to get the treasure hunt all set up before he gets here. Hey, you can't watch. You have to help Zabu find the things that we're gonna hide. So hang out with Shark the Veiled Chameleon and count to five. We'll be right back. One, two, three. Hey, no peeking. <laughs> Keep your eye on him, Shark. One, two, three, four, five. <sighs> okay, we're done. The treasure's buried and the treasure hunt is all set up. Let's call Zabu. Zabu, Zabu! Zabu! Here. Zabu, do we have a surprise for you? You know what surprises me? How Zabu can be so quiet when he leaps around. Listen. Pretty quiet, huh? Zabu, are you ready for a treasure hunt? You know Zabu, no sound until he's had his snack. Broccoli. Zabu loves broccoli. Did you ever notice that Zabu wiggles his nose when he eats? Yeah, it's kind of like this. <laughs> Give me Zabu Mufu! <laughs> Hi, I'm Vuki. My belly is full of broccoli, and my mind is filled with a question. What's a treasure hunt? Well, there are clues hidden around Animal Junction. And when you find all the clues, you'll be able to figure out where the secret treasure is hidden. That's a treasure hunt. Manga chica, treasures. Like a whole lot of garbanzo beans. Nothing but garbanzo beans. <laughs> yeah, imagine Zabu as a pirate finding a treasure chest. <laughs> Dire me treasure. All the garbanzo beans in the world. <laughs> Martin, Martin. <laughs> huh? I'm ready for the treasure hunt. All right. Yeah, but I need some help. Oh, you look smart. Can you help me find the treasure? 
Thanks. Now we just have to wait for two more helpers. Who? Uh, I don't know. I saw them outside. Who could it be? Who could it be? Whoop -ah! This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Ooh, ah! She had a pointy nose and furry pointy ears, too. Is a really curious creature, always trying to figure things out. Can you help me guess this mystery? Two furry, curious, pointy nosed creatures. Do you know who they are? Let's see. Gray and furry, a little red on their face, white spot on their tail. Zooming all around. <laughs> Red fox kids! What amazing creatures! Hey, the mystery animals are here! Wow, incredible. You might be saying, why is he called a red fox if he's gray? Well, red fox kids start out gray, and then they turn red as they grow older. You can see he's got a little bit of red around his eyes. And when he turns six months old, he'll be all red. Go, buddy. Ready, wrestle. You know, a fox is one of those amazing creatures you might see no matter where you live, because there are so many different species of fox all around the world, and they are so incredibly adaptable. They can live pretty much anywhere. In the country, in the rainforest, in cities, wherever people might be, you might find a fox. Ooh, but you have to be quick because they are fast, even when they're that young. <laughs> look at them go. I don't have to look. I can feel that tickles. <laughs> hey, Chris, this fox lives right outside. I saw his home. Great, we're neighbors. Yeah. You know, foxes live around human neighborhoods lots of the time. Oh. Whoop, you okay? He's okay. He's fine, yeah. <laughs> there he goes. And check out those moves. Quickness is everything to a red fox. Red fox have to be quick to survive. They have to be fast to catch their food, and they have to be fast to stay away from their enemies. These fox are quick. They're supercharged little canines. Foxes are great creatures to help with our treasure hunt. They're really smart, and sometimes they even hide their own treasures. You see, sometimes after a fox has caught her meal, she either goes somewhere else to eat it, or she finds a place to hide it. Her hiding place is called a cache. Later, when she's hungry again, she'll come back for her hidden food and dig it up. That's why foxes will be great helpers in our treasure hunt. My Betsika, that's smart. I'll call you Smart Fox, and uh, you'll be treasure hunter. Okay, brothers, we're ready to search for treasure. Woohoo! Let the treasure hunt begin. Look, they're sniffing everywhere. Yes, Ob, a fox has an incredible sense of smell, about 30 times better than a human's. Hey, they're onto something. I knew they could do it. This is great, because Treasure Hunter found the first clue. You see, a clue is on the back of these puzzle pieces. And when you find all the puzzle pieces, you can put them together to make a picture, and that will show you where the treasure is hidden. Okay, read the first clue. We are ready. <laughs> Here it is. Go up high, close to the sky, where you can throw a big orange ball, and a chimp got a little tangly, if you recall. Hmm, where you can throw a ball. Uh... <gasps> yeah, the basketball, that thing up in the crow's nest. Oh, there's Teeny. Oh, hey, Teeny, can you take care of this puzzle piece for me? I have to go to the crow's nest and find the first clue to the uh, treasure? Yeah, thanks, Teeny. Meet you at the crow's nest, Chris. I'm there. Whoa, hi. Manga, Tsika, you're great. You must be the hidden treasure, the hidden creature treasure. He's a silver-haired bat, Zabu. Oh. He's not the treasure we hid, but he definitely is a creature treasure. Wow, Manga, Tsika, a little silver-haired bat. I'm gonna call you Shadow. <laughs> He's been coming every day for the past few weeks, Zabu. I think he's trying out as a place to live. There he goes. Yeah. 
Silver-haired bats live in North America, and a silver-haired bat roosts in trees, either under the bark or in holes in trees. Now you know bats live in all sorts of places. A cave, a church belfry, an old tower, or even people's roofs. Mangatsika people are lucky to have bats living near them. That's right, Sob. A little bat like this can eat 300 mosquitoes in a single night. So if you don't like getting bitten by mosquitoes, a bat is a great neighbor to have. Bats are great creature neighbors. Wow. Look at them go. I can't believe my mind. Creature neighbors are creature treasures. <laughs> Mangatsika, smart fox, treasure hunter. Another piece of the puzzle. With another clue on the back. Hey. I'll read it to you, Zabu. This place is full of gear for adventure far and near. But when you go there, you better beware. Think I know where to go, do you? To the closet. Yeah. Hey, Teeny, you want to hold on to this for us? <laughs> that a girl. All right, to the closet. No, let's fly. Oh. I'm going to fly over to the closet, brown bat style. Yeah. <laughs> you can only fly like a bat in Animal Junction. Pretty good flyer for a lemur. Look out! Look out! I think I found another clue. You need some help, Sabu? Oh, my God, buddy. Okay, one, two, three! <laughs> Sabu, hang on a sec. What did you say? Oh, I said we did it. We found another clue. Lay the next clue on us. <laughs> All right, here it is. Go to the place that has things for your face. Lots of great eats. Hey, broccoli and beets. Then take one lemur leap to the right. Hmm. Do you know where to go? Huh? The snack machine? Okay, let's go. <laughs> here you go, Teeny. <laughs> Thanks, pal. The snack machine. There. So, I take one step to the right. Now, the next clue should be right here. I don't see a clue, but I hear something. Do you hear that? The well, smart fox and treasure hunter do. Oh. Well, let's see. Oh. Oh. oh, look, we found some more creature treasures. Oh, and the puzzle piece. All right, Sabu. Yeah. These are coyote pups, and they're creature neighbors, too. Well, of course. Creature neighbors are creature treasures. They're uh -huh. only three weeks old, Zabu. Wow, they're tiny. Welcome to Animal Junction, creature neighbor. Yeah, and you should never get too close to coyotes or their pups. But anything goes in Animal Junction. Great job finding the puzzle piece, Zab. Hey, you want to throw it over to Teeny? All right, here you go, Teeny. Hey, Martin. <laughs> These coyotes are good players. They're crawling all over me. <laughs> yeah. Look at his gray eyes. Huh. They'll probably change color as he grows, usually to brown. Little tiny coyote paws. Look at the little claws. It's amazing. But those little paws will get a lot bigger. He'll need them to pounce on his prey. So you know what the pups are doing now? They're playing to practice their hunting skills because when they get older, hunting is a big part of survival. What do they catch when they pounce? Rodents, birds, snakes, whatever's pounceable. Mangatsika. Now that I found all the pieces of the puzzle, I need all the creature neighbors to help me find the treasure chest. Everybody meet over at Teeny's bed. Come on, everybody. We're going to find the treasure. All right, Zom. Just put the puzzle pieces together, okay. and it'll show you where the treasure is. See, now, uh, where do you think this one goes? Oh, uh, let's see. There. Oh, yeah, put that one over there. OK. Yeah. All right. What do you think, Teeny? Oh, OK. OK, we'll Got put it there, Teeny. We did it. This will be easy, easy, easy. OK, let's see. Uh, I know. I know. The cave. The treasure's hidden over by the cave. Let's go. Hoo-ha! Come on, Smart Fox. Come on, Treasure Hunter. We're going to the cave. Our treasure's waiting for us there. Well, 
here we are at the cave, but I don't see any treasure. Treasure hunter? Smart fox? What are you... Oh, dig? That's it! The treasure's buried down here! Hurrah! Okay, dig! Dig! Oh, Brothers, wow. we did it! We found the treasure! <laughs> All right, we'll just get it out for you, Sob. My first treasure ever? I can't wait! All right, now let's open it. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe my mind! Garbanzo beans! More garbanzo beans than I ever saw! Oh. There's more, Zabu! Oh yeah, look! Look! Balls! Balls for the foxes to play with! There you go, foxes! Hey, and look at this! A bat box for Shadow to live in! He'll love this! And don't forget the coyotes. There's straw to make their den extra soft. Straw, bat box, balls, garbanzo beans, what a treasure. I love living with creatures. I love neighborhoods with lots of creatures. The more creatures, the better. Hey, look. Well, they really can climb, Zob. Yeah. Have you ever had a coyote pup climbing on your head? <laughs> I feel creature neighborish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel creature neighborish. How about you, creature neighborish? I feel creature neighborish. Neighborish. I'm a creature loving lemur. Creature neighbors are my pals. Neighborish. Feeling neighborish reminds me of one time in Sabu Land. I was leaping along. Leap, 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 leap. Ow. Leap. Leap when I bumped into my neighbor, Narchi. Oof! Oh, hi, Narchi. Hi, Zob. Oh, hi, Noggin Drill. Hi, Zob. Where are you going? I'm uh, heading home, Zob. Move over. I'm heading home. Oh, hey, can I come over? Oh. I've never even seen your home. Uh, Me too. No, no, no can do. Oh, why not? Uh, be because. Why not? Because. But why uh, not? Why? Well, uh, because my house is just too messy, okay? Oh. Uh. Huh? So why doesn't Narchi clean it? Well, oh. my nose does have a vacuum feature. Yeah. Well, well, okay, but I'm telling you, there's a lot of dirt down there. I, I don't know. Give you it a try, Narchi. All right, stand aside. Coming uh, through. All right. <clears throat> and now, now, careful with the fragile. <laughs> oh, great job, Narch. Well, uh, you can both come in. Yeah. Thank you. Here I go. Oh, oh, great. Great. You, Zob. Here it goes. Watch out. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Wow, this is a great underground house. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Right, come on, let's uh, race around my tunnels. Oh, oh good idea. Okay. Hey, wait for me. Ready, rotten leg. Watch your head on the... Oh, hey, where's Zobu? Hey, where'd you guys go? Zobu? And... <laughs> it's great to do certain things to help your creature neighbors when you can. Creature neighbors are super neighbors, as long as you give them their space. And sometimes that's the best treasure you can give a creature. And now that we've given Shadow a place to sleep, we can give him his space. Have fun in your new home, Shadow. Guys, sometime I want to show you all the creatures from my neighborhood in Madagascar. Duck. Yeah, a duck and... No, oh. incoming. Duck. Look. Oh. He's not a duck, he's Moonface the Barn Owl. Hey, oh. do you know why they're called Barn Owls? Well, because they like to live in old barns sometimes. That's right. Why else would they be called Barn Owls? Hey, guys, hmm? a message from the Animal Helpers. Hmm. Hi, Crap Brothers. Hi, Zabu. Alexander's an animal helper that lives in the city, and you'll never guess who her neighbor is. It's Sticky Feet the Peregrine Falcon. Falcons live in the city sometimes. The tall buildings are like the cliffs they nest on in the wilderness. And here in the city, there are lots of pigeons for them to eat. So a city's a great place for a power green falcon to raise a family. Welcome to the neighborhood! You can find creatures and people living together all over the world. Hey, you guys should check out some more creature neighborhoods. Right on, Sabu. Yeah, why don't we check out the creature neighborhoods in India? Sounds like a trip to me. To the closet! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. <laughs> They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Bye, Bye brothers. See you later, Zav. We're here in the Rhyme for 
India, halfway around the world from where we grew up. Things are a little different around here, but no matter where you go, people are basically doing the same things. Like doing their jobs, or playing games. But no matter where you are, people have creature neighbors. It's just different creatures in different places. These kids have Langer monkeys <laughs> as neighbors. Langer monkeys, look at them. They're everywhere. <laughs> hey, there's one with a baby. Langer monkeys live in India, like squirrels do in North America. They hang around people's neighborhoods, even on their houses. <laughs> look at how tiny that baby is, Martin. Wow. I think she's only a few days old. Yeah, she can't be more than a week. Let's get closer. You can get close to Langer monkeys around here. They're used to people in this neighborhood. Born only a few days ago, this little monkey is growing fast. Her mom's grooming her. Langer monkeys groom each other to pick the ticks off and keep each other clean. What a great creature neighborhood. You know, maybe we should move in for a while. All right. Good spot up here. Backpack, Chris. My sleeping bag. We're all moved in. I can't wait to get to know our creature neighbors even better. But first, a little nap. Yeah, no feet. Hey, get your feet off my side. This is my side. Come on. What are you talking about? My feet aren't over the line. <laughs> Come on. You hear that? Yeah, I guess it's just the wind. Whoa! Whoa. It sure is windy out here. Wow. It's not the wind, it's an elephant. Hey, and it looks like she wants to show us something. She's leading us to, to where? A pond. Ha <laughs> ha, all right. <laughs> if you live in India and have a pond in your backyard, you have all sorts of amazing creatures coming down to drink. Or to eat. Barasinga, chowing down. Cheeto deer. Vultures. Crows, sparrows, and tigers lapping up a drink. Wow. Hey, you think she could be hungry too? Let's see. She sure looks hungry. Time, Time to get, get back, back in the Jeep. Yeah, living with Indian creatures is where it's at. And it sounds like Zabu's living it up. Zabu! Where are you, buddy? <laughs> Sorry, brothers. I had to trap you before you saw all the treasures. Special treasures from an island far, far away. <laughs> treasures? Uh, what kind of treasures? Oh, I can't tell you. But you can come out as soon as you can spell lemur. OK. L-E-M-U-R. Lemur! <laughs> Check it out. Wow. Mangatsika, they're my creature neighbors from Madagascar. You brought all your buddies here for a visit? Uh -huh. Well, let's meet Sabu's creature neighbors. <laughs> yeah! This is my friend, Hugon, the black and white rough lemur. One of your lemur neighbors, right? Hey, Martin, you found Hugon. Yeah. Do you know why I call him Hugon? I think I've got an idea, but tell me. Because he's always hugging on you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's he doing? He's grooming me. Yeah, he's cleaning your hair. I can help if you like that. Okay. Oh, wow, that feels so weird. It's like a little teeny tiny comb going through your hair. <laughs> He's got a real hug on Martin. Oh, yeah. Oh, see ya. Yeah. And there's Shark the Chameleon. And guess who's behind my back? Um, Little Leaper. It's Little Leaper. <laughs> so he's been leaping around on your back, Sabu? Yep, leaping, leaping, leaping. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's getting, yeah, he's a good leaper. Remember what a good leaper he is? Whoa, there he goes. You just keep your eye on him. He'll show you. Hey, Little Leaper. Shark, guess who's here? This is a Tenrack. Well, he's from Madagascar, too. Yeah, they're found only in Madagascar. Hmm. And Tenrex are insectivores. Uh, that means he eats insects, right? Yeah. Well, I've seen him do it. Wow. And look at these sharp spines. If you mess with a Tenrex, you're bound to get poked by these spines. <laughs> That's why I call him Pokey. Hey, look, he found an insect right now. 
Oh, wow, I wonder if he's hungry. Yep, he's hungry. <laughs> Look at that. Look at him eat. Look at that little tongue. Yeah. Tanrex like to eat earthworms and all kinds of little insects. Looks like he's all finished, Sabu. Oh, how about a story from Sabu Land? <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, 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 leap. <laughs> leap, 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 leap. When I bumped into, oof. <laughs> Well, I didn't know who I bumped into until she pulled her head out of the ground. It was Wiggy Waxwing slurping up root noodles. Hi, Wiggy, I said. Hi, Sabu. Oh, huh? I can't talk. Oh, what was oh. the root noodles? Oh, 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 another one. Oh. Oh. More, more, more. more that Wiggy more. was wigging out all over, gobbling up root noodles. <laughs> Go, Wiggy. Until she found a root noodle that wasn't a root noodle at all. It was baby Zabumafuasaurus. Hi, Wiggy, want to play? Wiggy was so full of root noodles that all she wanted to do was slide down baby Zabumafuasaurus over and over. <laughs> so we slid down baby Zabumafuasaurus all day. Here goes. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Living with creatures. I like all creature neighbors in the whole universe. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by. We're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing. Have to say, go make an animal friend today. Yeah. See you later, guys. I'm going back to the hut. See you, Zabu. Keep on leaping, buddy. Hey, Chris, what do you say we go to Africa and we find out what creatures people live with there? Let's do it. Right. Hey, and remember, creature neighbors are great creature treasures. <laughs> Thanks. Good pass. We'll see you next time. Hi, my name is Kayla. This is a goat named Tim. Buddies! Mark, look out for the log! Ah! Nice dive, bro! Well, I know where the mud is. Now I just wonder where Zabu is. Thanks, Chris. Let's call him. Zabu, Zabu, there he is. Hey, buddy, how's it going? What are you looking for, Zabu? You know Zabu, he's not gonna say anything till he's had his snack. That was a great jump, Sabu. Way to go. Here, let me scratch you. Oh, right there, huh? <laughs> Let's see what we have for Zabu today. This is gonna be huge! Wonder Bonzo Bean? That's not enough for Zabu. I'll be right back. Okay, I just have to find that thing. Where is it now? Aha! All right, this ought to do it. Let's see. Adjustments over here. Hey. Oh, jackpot! Zabu! Zabu, I found some garbanzo beans. Zabu loves garbanzo beans. Yeah. Excuse me. Crack Brothers? Yes, yeah, Zah. Chris, I was thinking, you have Martin, and Martin, you have Chris. Yeah, we're brothers. And you're buddies. Yeah, we're buddies too. Well, the creature I saw, she had a buddy. Who could it be? Who could it be? Whoa this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Okay, okay. The first creature I saw had hundreds of wavy fingers. But she wasn't alone. A creature buddy was right there with her. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Oh, God, stop. Oh, God, stop. Animal. And the little orange one was 
swimming in the turn one. <laughs> Water buddies, do you know who they are? Oh, yeah! Hundreds of little fingers. Tan wavy. And another creature swimming all around. Whoops, I got it! Whoa! A clownfish and a sea anemone. I got you, buddy! <laughs> nice say, nice find! What amazing creatures. And the more you look at them, the more you learn about them, the more amazing they become. At first, when you look at them, you think there's only one creature there. But when you look closer, you see there are really two, the clownfish and the sea anemone. Talk about a great team of buddies. These creatures really know how to get along. The clownfish and sea anemone live together in the oceans. Living in the ocean can be really dangerous. It's a fish-eat-fish -fish world down there with lots of predators at every turn. Like this colorful grouper. And the long-jawed trumpet fish. Can you believe those chompers? The tasseled woebegone shark, a puffer fish. And, of course, there's always a white-tipped reef shark swimming around. In a place like this, the clownfish and the sea anemone really watch each other's backs. These creatures have a symbiotic relationship. A clownfish and a sea anemone each get something good out of living together. They, they protect, protect each, each other. other. Believe it or not, this clownfish will live with this sea anemone all his life. Whoa. Well, they must be buddies like you and Chris. Yeah. Hey, I wonder if clownfish and sea anemone want to be my buddy too. Let's be buddies. Sam, wait, no! Ah! Oh, oh, that doesn't tickle! That stings! Well, maybe they don't want to be my buddies. The oh, stings, the thing! Uh, why do you do that? Sorry, Zabu, I didn't get a chance to tell you. Hmm? The sea anemone stings because he's protecting his little buddy, the clownfish. Oh. oh, well, now that I know that, I know what to call you guys. Because clownfish and sea anemone is a lot to say all the time. Well, you try it. Say, clownfish and sea anemone three times fast. Clownfish and sea anemone, clownfish and sea anemone, clownfish and sea anemone. Whew, that's hard. Let's see, I think I'll call you Finn and you Sting. Yeah, Sting and Finn. Whew, that's much easier. <laughs> and Sting does sting. So you'd better give the sea anemone his space. Unless you can do what the clownfish does, you're gonna get zapped. Okay, Finn, show us how it's done. I'm watching. What does he do? When a sea anemone is defending herself or catching prey, she shoots little stingers from her tentacles. But she doesn't sting a clownfish. Here's why. A sea anemone is covered with slime, so the clownfish does a little dance, covering herself with slime and making the sea anemone think that she's just another one of her tentacles. The clownfish becomes the sea anemone. That's why the sea anemone doesn't attack the clownfish. So you're saying I have to do a dance and rub myself with slime? That's right, Zabu. That's how the clownfish does it. Okay, I'll do it. I'll try the Be My Buddy Boogie, but I'll try it without slime. Hey, Sting, here's my dance. Check it out. Zabu, look out! need my own buddy to watch out for me when I'm dancing. <laughs> yeah, I need my own buddy who can watch my back. We're your buddy, Zabu. Well, yeah, but you have to watch out for each other. Well, I need a special buddy who can watch out for me full time. <laughs> can you help me find a special buddy? Sure, Zabu. Let's all keep an eye out for a special buddy for Zabu. Somebody who will help him out as much as the clownfish and sea anemone help each other. <laughs> Oh, there's another reason the clownfish and sea anemone are great buddies, Zab. You see, the clownfish lays eggs, and she lays those eggs underneath this thing on the sea anemone called an oral disc. It's a safe place for the eggs until they hatch because the sea anemone protects them. 
And that's not all. A clownfish isn't a great swimmer, so it's not a good idea for him to be swimming around the ocean all alone. If a clownfish wants to survive, he has to find a sea anemone to live in. So you can think of the sea anemone as the clownfish's house. It's a safe place to go when there's danger around. And the sea anemone gets a great bonus out of being buddies, too. He gets protection from his enemies, like the butterfly fish. You see, one of the clownfish's jobs is to chase away any butterfly fish. That's because a butterfly fish will bite the sea anemone, taking off a chunk of tentacle with each bite. So the clownfish has to chase away butterfly fish to protect his buddy. Sting and Finn are made for each other. I'll keep looking for somebody who doesn't have a buddy so we can be buddies. Yeah. Hey, uh, I need a buddy so he can tell me when a creature's about to grab my tail. Whoa! Whoa! Hi, Lost and Found. <laughs> well, I can't ask Lost and Found to be my buddy, because everybody knows his special buddy is Brainiac the Chimpanzee. Hi, Brainiac. You go and play, okay? And now, I'll go look for a buddy of my very own. And you'll find one, Zob, because there are lots of buddies in the creature world, like an oxpecker and a rhinoceros. The oxpecker eats the bugs off the rhino, and the rhino gets a good cleaning. But that's not all. A rhino doesn't have very good eyesight. So, if the oxpecker takes off, then the rhino's warned that something might be up. Look who's here! Two baby sloths, and this is about as fast as they like to move. If that's fast, I don't leap. Hey, I remember you sloths. Yeah, I remember what I called them, Martin. I called you slow and you slower. Perfect <laughs> names for sloths, Zob. Nice to see you again. You dropped his bark. Martin will get it for you. There you go. Now, sloths usually don't eat bark, just leaves, but uh, maybe he wants to play with it. He just took that so nice and easy. Yeah, and he's only got two claws on his hand. Yep, the two-toed sloth. Hey, Martin, are these two buddies? Well, sloths usually don't buddy around together too much, but you can find sloths in the same tree when there are really good leaves to eat. Because sloths love eating leaves. They eat a lot of leaves. It's their favorite food. Hey, uh, maybe you guys want to be my buddies. Well, what do you want to do? They're doing just about everything they want to do right now. Just hanging around and eating leaves. So, uh, you probably don't want to leap around Animal Junction with me. Sloths hmm. don't leap, Zabu. Huh? They just hang in the trees. In fact, they hardly ever even go down to the ground. Hmm. And they already have their own buddies, Zab. Insects. Hundreds of insects live in a sloth's fur. It's a safe place to be if you're a bug. But bugs aren't the best buddies to have if you're a sloth. Sloths have a lot of creatures living with them, but these creatures aren't exactly buddies. Sloth beetles live behind their elbows and knees, and sloth moths live inside their fur. And these buddies itch. Tell me about it. They itch. Oh, oh, really? Oh, I know how they feel, because I got bugs all over me. <laughs> Where'd they come from, Zabu? Well, I don't know. Maybe they think I'm a sloth. They itch like crazy. I wish they'd stop. <laughs> Shark, where'd you come from? Have you been here all day? I guess you noticed I've got a bug problem. These bugs are bugging me. They itch. Huh? huh? What? Oh, thanks. You're great, Shark Buddy. Buddy. Hey, you can be my special buddy. Shark's gonna be my special buddy. <laughs> Shark can watch out for Zabu. Yeah, because he can watch in all directions so I won't bump into things. <laughs> and Zabu can watch out for Shark. Yeah. Perfect. Chameleons have the most incredible eyes. See how each eye can look in a different direction? So he can see Zabu leap over there, and over there, and over there. He can see everywhere. We can't do that. Hard. A sloth can't do that either. See, a sloth can't move their eyes independently like a chameleon can, but she can move her head a full 180 degrees. This lets her see the ground no matter which way she's hanging. We humans can't turn our heads around like that. Nope, nobody does it like my buddy shark. Always keeps an eye on his buddy, Zabu. Hey, that makes my mind remember one time in Zabu Land. 
I was leaping along. Leap, <laughs> leap, leap, leap. When I thought I heard a rock crying. And I said, is that a rock crying? No. And a sad little voice said, It's not a rock, it's me, Simantha. Oh, why are you so sad? Well, no one wants to be my buddy. Nobody wants to hug with me because I'm so slimy. <laughs> and I told her, but I don't mind. I'll be your buddy. You can give me a hug. I can? Oh, okay. Oh, you see what I mean? It's hard to be a buddy when you squirt out of their hugs. And I said, I love your slimy hug. That was fun. It was? Oh, well, come back here. <laughs> yeah, let's do it again. Okay. Can we do it again? Oh, yeah, come on. Oh, oh, oh. oh gobble. Now I'm slimy, too. You're my best buddy. And it's my turn to hug <laughs> you. Okay. What a fun way for yeah. buddies to spend a day. <laughs> the end. Hey, you know what, shark? Just like the clownfish, I've got my own buddy. And it's you. I'm feeling clownfishish. <laughs> I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel clownfishish. How about you, clownfishish? I feel clownfishish. <laughs> fishish! I'm a fishy creature, and nemonies are my pals. There are lots of buddies in the creature world. And creature buddies always do things together. Swing! <laughs> it's so monk and seeker to have you as my buddy, Shark. Well, now there's Chris and Martin and Finn and Sting and Slow and Slower and Shark and Zabu. Animal Junction's full of buddies. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Incoming. Duck! Oh, it's probably not a duck. It's probably a duck. <gasps> it is a duck. It's almost never a duck when they say duck. But then sometimes, well, sometimes it is a duck. <laughs> oh, look. She brought a message from the animal helpers. Oh, you see, Shark? Wonder what they're up to now. Yeah. Here, Scotty. Here, boy. Hi, guys. Hi, Zabu. Amy here. My family and I are going on a holiday. But we can't take Scotty with us. What are we going to do with Scotty while we're away? Easy! Hey, Scotty, you're going to stay at Boomer, aren't you? And we can't forget all your stuff. Whoa! He's got more stuff than I do! Let's go, boy. I couldn't put my best friend in a kennel for two whole weeks, so he's staying with his buddy Boomer. Scotty and Boomer met in the park and have been buddies ever since. I think Scotty's gonna have a great holiday at Boomer, don't you? She sure is a great buddy for animals, isn't she, Shark? I know a couple of great creature buddies in India. I'm thinking what you're thinking, bro. Come on, Chris! Sounds like a trip to me. They're going to the closet, they're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. Guess it's safe to go in. Be my guest. No, please, you go first. No, really, bro, after you. We waited too long! <laughs> They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. Binoculars! Let's go spot some creatures. See you later, Zabu. Bye, Zab. Bye, brothers. We're here in Mocha, India, looking for two creatures who are true buddies. Martin's talking about the Langer monkey and the Cheetle deer. Chris, Langer monkeys, 12 o'clock! Hey, there might be some Cheetle around, too. How many monkeys do you see, Martin? Martin? Martin, you think there's some? Whoa, the Langer monkeys and everything are getting closer. Oh, no! I didn't know these binos had automatic zoom. Martin, stop! The brake, use the brake! Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Ouch. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. oh, my head is spinning. But I'm not seeing stars. I'm seeing leaves. Of course. I'm under the Langer tree. That's where I landed. <laughs> I'm up in the Langer tree. I'm a Langer monkey. And we Langer monkeys have a bunch of buddies headed this way. Cheetle deer. All right, I'm a Cheetle deer. We Cheetle deer love hanging out with our buddies, the Langer monkeys. Do you know why? Here's why. See, we langer monkeys love to eat these mahua leaves, but we don't eat the whole thing, just the soft inside of the stem. The rest, we just toss away. And that's what we cheetle deer love, the leafy parts. Except we can't get these juicy leaves way up there. It's too high. So, we need the help of the langer monkeys. Thanks, langers. No problem, cheetle. Here, catch. How are you cheetle doing down there? Great. What's up with you langers? Everything. Langers and cheetles. What buddies? Everybody's having a great time chowing down. Hey, but that's not all. Another thing that makes these two such great buddies is that they understand each other's alarm calls. So if a predator like a tiger's around, the langer monkey and the cheetle deer are going to know about it. Langer alarm. <laughs> Cheetle alarm. Chris the tiger. Wow. Everyone's taking off. We better listen to what they're saying and head back to the Jeep. Hurry up, Chris. I'm hurrying, buddy. Cheetles! Thanks, Langers! We're out of here. Let's go! Oh, 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 Oops! <laughs> hey, Fisher. There's so many of you, I gotta count again. One, two, three. I wonder what Zabu's up to. No. There's only one way to find out. Let's go! Hey, Zabu, we're back! Zabu? Where is that lemur? Hey, Martin, check it out. Munchak deer, a whole family of them. Welcome to Animal Junction. Yeah, Shark and I have lots of buddies now. Well, Shark likes to watch. He doesn't want to get in the way of these guys' feet. Munchak deer are one of the smallest deer in the world. This male is full grown, but he only comes up to my knee. That's not very tall for a deer. I mean, a caribou is 25 times heavier and three times taller than a munchak deer. You see, compared to a caribou, well, you're just really small. Yeah, it's sort of like comparing me to a garbanzo bean. <laughs> Can you believe how small and slender their legs are? It's a big deer body, a tiny delicate little legs. Slender legs for fast running. So what do you think a munchak deer likes to eat? Apples? Munchak deer are pretty shy. I'll toss it to him. Look at that. She loves it. Oh, oh, that yeah. tongue's as long as Narchie's nose. Oh, <laughs> I'd like to see that again. Oh. It's incredible. A munchak deer's tongue can lick all the way up to her eyeball. Munga, Sika, that's a long tongue. Hey, take a close look at a munchak deer's face. It's pretty amazing. Oh, yeah, it looks like they close their nose when they're sniffing. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of work. It's a weird way to smell, but it must work for the munchak deer. Munchak deer are pretty mungatsika animals. <laughs> well, hey, don't run away. Munchak deer is like my buddy in Sabu land. I was <laughs> leaping along, leap, 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 oh, leap, yeah, when I bumped into my buddy, oh, oh, <laughs> Noggin Drill. Oh, oh, oh. I said, hello, Noggin Drill. Ouch. Oh, hi, Zabu. 
Uh, uh, Zabu, I want to play with a buddy. Uh, can you play with me? Oh. Well, I've been playing all morning. Hey, if Wiggy's home, oh. maybe she'll want to play with you. Oh. Well, let's go see. All right. Wiggy. Uh, Wiggy. Ah, 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 well, what? What? Oh. Ah, I'm what? staying home. Oh. Staying home. Oh, well, that's no good. I, I'm really in the mood for playing with a buddy. Well, can't you hang around and play with me, Zabu? Well, sure, Noggin Drill. What are buddies for? <laughs> what do you want to do? <laughs> oh, my favorite thing. I I I'll dig a hole and we'll play in it. Yeah, ready? Here we oh, go. Sounds <laughs> great. <laughs> How's the hole, Noggin Drill? Huh? Is there room for a buddy in there? Oh, there sure is, Zabu. Lots of space. Come on in and see for yourself. So I did. Oh, the end. <laughs> So you see, Munchak, you don't need to be afraid of me. I'm your animal pal. I'm your animal junction buddy. What's that, Shark? Oh, okay. Shark's gotta go now, but we're gonna meet up later. Now that we're buddies, we're gonna hang out more. See you later, Shark, good buddy. That's <laughs> great, Zabu. I'm glad you finally found someone you could call your buddy. Yeah, but now I've gotta get back to Madagascar. Bye, Moonjack, dear. Bye, Chris. Bye, Zabu. Okay, I'll see you later, brothers. Bye, Zabu. See you, buddy. Hey, what do you say we go check out more buddies? Yeah, honey guides and honey badgers. Let's go! See you next time! Bye! Hi, my name is Kevin. This is my dog named Ty, and she likes to swim. Green Creatures. We're almost there, Martin! Let's kick it into high gear! Whoa! Oh. 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 I don't remember that tree being there. I don't remember any of these trees being here. Oh. Check it out. Animal Junction is packed with plants. Plants are everywhere. And where you'll find plants, you'll always find animals. Hummingbirds are always sticking their faces in flowers looking for nectar. And koalas love chewing down on eucalyptus leaves. And guess who loves leaping through the trees? You know it, Zabumafu! Let's call him. Zabu! Hey, Zabumafu! Zabumafu! <laughs> nice leaping, Zabu! Have a look at this place. It's like a forest. Just your kind of place. Zabu's made for leaping through the trees. His legs are built specially for tree leaping. That's why he looks so funny when he tries to leap along the ground. His legs don't walk, they leap. And his mouth doesn't talk, it eats. Eats first, then talks. Zabu broccoli! Yeah, you love broccoli, don't you, buddy? We can't have them all. Here, wait, just take one, just take one. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there! Green is a yummy color and Animal Junction is looking yummier than ever! Green creatures everywhere! And that's your favorite color, right, Zab? Oh yeah, but I like all colors! Blue, red, yellow, green... Green! The creature I saw was green! Was? Yeah! A funny, round, green creature! Who could it be? She was green and round and hanging from a tree. Then she fell off. <laughs> Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Oh, God's God. Oh, God's God. 
She was smooth and round and yummy, too. Yummy creature. Do you know who she is? Green and round, mm -hmm. smooth and round. Mm -hmm. It's Toothbrush! <laughs> I named him Toothbrush because of his hairs. They're like the hairs on this thingy you brush your teeth with. So Zabu says the mystery creature is riding in his trunk. Let's see. A lime! The mystery creature is a lime! <laughs> the mystery animal's here and she's a lime! <laughs> Well, she's a green creature. The trees are alive. This might not look like a creature, but inside this fruit, there are creatures. Two seeds will grow into a special tree called a Mexican lime tree. Now, I think somebody right here wants the fruit. Down the hatch. All these creatures are alive. They just don't walk around and talk like we do. Manga, Zika, brothers, my mind just had the idea of the century. You guys are always building machines, right? Well, today, I'm gonna build a machine. I'm gonna build a machine that talks to plants. The green speaker. ha <laughs> All I need is some tools. Do you think you can do it, Zob? It'll be easy. <laughs> easy. Do you really think Zabu can build a machine that talks to plants? Do you really think so, Popcorn? A machine that talks to plants? How you doing, Zob? Huh? Oh yeah, I'm almost done. <laughs> Popcorn, this is gonna be the greatest invention of all time. Soon, we'll be talking to plants. Mm. I just know these plants have a lot to say. Yeah, you do too? <laughs> I can't wait. Stand back, cause here I go. <laughs> Finish! Kinka juice, binturongs, and monkeys, it's finished! The greatest lemur invention of all time, the green speaker! <laughs> Watch my machine, Popcorn. Now listen while the plants talk to me. Uh, hello, plants. Uh, uh, how are you? Huh, nothing. Well, you know, don't worry about it, Zabu. Here, let's plant these oh. lime seeds. Oh, okay. Here, here's one for you. Okay. Come on. I thought it was gonna work. Why don't you plant the seed here? Good soil. Oh, you're talking! My green machine worked! <laughs> hey, down here! If you plant me here and help me grow, I'll give you a surprise. Well, of course. I love surprises. Surprises are my favorite kind of prizes. Um, you just tell me what to do, right? I'll call you uh, a seed prize. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Chris, come here. The plants are all alive. Listen, they're talking. Well, anything can happen in Animal Junction. But I don't hear anything, Zabu. Well, he said if I helped him grow, he'd give me a surprise. Okay. Well, there are three things a plant needs to grow. Sunlight, uh -huh. good soil, and water. Oh. Well, what about here? Yeah, there's lots of sunlight, and the soil looks really good. Don't forget water, Sabu. Okay, water coming up. Do your stuff, toothbrush. <laughs> toothbrush! Oh, nice shot, toothbrush. <laughs> you got me. You know what? Now that the little seed has what he needs to grow, I can have a leaf snack break. <laughs> oh, hi, who are you? He's a two-toed sloth, Sabu, and he loves eating green creatures. Wow. He eats leaves and bark. You move so slow. Hey, that gives my mind an idea. That's what I'll call you, slow. Mangatsika, there's another one. I'll call him slower. Good name, Zabu. That's because sloths take their time. They just move around very slowly. The big reason for this is that they have to conserve energy to digest all the leaves they eat. Well, green is a yummy color, isn't it? Dig in. Easy, guys, easy. I need those leaves. That's where I make my food. The trees are alive. <laughs> We're always alive. But we need those leaves so we can turn soil, sunlight, and water into food that makes us Whoa. grow. Like that. Only we grow much slower. Wow. So that's how you do it. But we need your leaves to grow, too. 
Well, uh, how about if uh, Slow and I uh, weed a few leaves here and, th and then we move on to a tree over there? Well, then there'll be plenty of leaves left. Good plan. Hey, Martin, come here, quick. What, Zabu? Well, listen. What? Well, huh? he was talking. Who, the sloth? No, 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 the tree. Yeah, lemur's honor. The tree was talking? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you heard him, didn't you? Uh, Fling, did you hear him? Zabu, come here. What? Do you know who this is? Your seed, he's growing. Oh, seed prize, look at you. You're all grown up. Oh, I want to talk to him. Where's the green speaker? Uh, green speaker? Fling, Fling has your green speaker. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Fling, don't throw it or it'll break. I'll get it. Got it. Phew, that was close. If the green speaker broke, well, I'd never be able to talk to Seed Prize again. And then I'd never find out what the surprise is. Thanks, Chris. Do you think this green speaker really works? Of course, yeah. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Sabu, your tree grew even more. <laughs> I'm a manga Sika tree grower and I didn't even know it. And it's a good thing I like surprises, because that's what I'm going to get for helping seed prize grow. Yeah. What do you think, Kinkajou? Uh, wait, let's see. He loves it. <laughs> the Kinkajou loves it. And trees only grow this fast at Animal Junction. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he's into your machine, too. Oh, yeah. Wow. And Zabu, look at this. Huh? Here's a surprise for you. Your tree grew flowers. Oh, yeah. Well, they make seed prize look nice. But not only that, Sabu. Check out this flower. See these stalks with the yellow bulbs on top? Oh, yeah? They're called stamens. Stamen. And they make the yellow stuff called pollen. Oh. Now, the pollen has to get from one plant to the next plant so that the plants can make more seeds. Oh. Well, you better get going, pollens. To get going, they need help from pollinators. Kinkajous are great pollinators. A kinkajou loves to eat nectar from a flower, so he sticks his head in, and then you know what happens? He gets all of the pollen on his head. And then when he goes over to another flower, he brings that pollen with him, and the pollen gets stuck on this little red thing there. And now this flower has everything it needs to make seeds to make new plants. There are lots of different pollinators in the creature world, like butterflies, and bugs, and bees. Bees have really hairy bodies that a lot of pollen sticks to. And then they go over to the next flower and some of that pollen falls off. Zabu, now I need pollen so I can make seeds. The tree's alive. Brothers, come quick. What's up? The what? seed prize just asked me to get some pollen so she could grow some seeds. Listen. I don't hear anything. Oh, no. Not again. Well, you heard her, right? Well, Zabu, if you want to keep trying to help the tree grow so you can find out what the surprise is, why don't you start pollinating like a bee? Oh, okay. Just call me Zabi. Get it? Zabi? Because I'm a bee, and I'm feeling kind of bee-ish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel bee-ish. How about you, bee-ish? I feel bee-ish. Bee-ish. A striped little buzzer moving pollen all around. Bee-ish. Zabi the pollinator is finished, and Zabu the lemur is ready for his surprise. <laughs> Zabu's green speaker. Fling's flinging it again. Oh, no. I'll get it. <laughs> yeah! Whoa! <laughs> nice save, Martin. Thanks, Abu. Well, if that thing broke, I wouldn't be able to talk to the plants anymore. And I'd never find out what their surprise is. I think you're getting it right now, Zabu. Look! Zabu's tree grew little limes. Look at them. But that's not all. Hang on! Ah, fruit is falling! Fruit is falling! Ah, it's fruit surprises from all the green creatures. <laughs> Treat for all of us. Dig in, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Green creatures make the yummiest things. Mm, it's good, huh? Look at the huge bites the kinkajou takes out of this pear. Wow. Another creature who loves what green creatures can do. <laughs> That's the yummiest surprise I've ever seen. <laughs> Here's a question for you. Does an elephant peel a banana? 
He mushes it up in his trunk, but he eats it, peels and all. Fling likes fruit from the banana tree. Look at how he puts it in his mouth and then spits it out again. Fling doesn't like to waste any banana. Now, you know, when you think about it, whenever you eat fruit, you're eating something that a green creature gave you. See, did I ever tell you about the time we almost ran out of goobleberries in Sabu Land? I was leaping along. <laughs> leap, leap, leap. When I almost leaped, whoa, right into Wiggy Waxwing. <laughs> What's the matter with everyone? Or Hungry, Zabu. Yeah, there's only one goobleberry bush left for all of us. Just one. Oh. Must eat, must eat, must oh, eat. Oh, no. Oh. The goobles going to eat all the goobleberries. Never fear. Zabu the super lemur is here. Oh, wait, 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 goobble. Inside oh. these goobleberry oh. fruits are seeds. Oh. Well, if we plant oh. these seeds oh. in the ground, a whole new goobleberry oh. bush will grow, and we'll have lots of oh. goobleberries. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. But how are we going to plant them, then? I can't dig with these small arms. I can dig holes. Great idea, Noggin Drill. So I called Buggy, hey, Buggy and jumped on his back with a pile of goobleberries with Narchi underneath. So while Noggin Drill dug holes, I loaded Narchi's nose, and he blew goobleberries in all the little holes all over Zabu land. Goobble kicked the dirt over the seeds, and before long, new goobleberries grew all over Zabu land. Yeah. Hey, it worked! Ah. A super lemur saved the day with his brains! I love that lemur. And everyone had lots to eat. The end. <laughs> you have great stories, Zabu. My green creatures have great surprises. Green creatures are the greatest creatures around. <laughs> yeah, even though they don't talk. They do talk. Pass me the green speaker. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. It's smashed. Well, don't worry about it, Zabu. You learned so much about plants today, didn't you? Besides, maybe the plants only wanted to talk to you. Yeah, maybe. Only us. Incoming duck! It's not a duck. It's Moonface, the barn owl. Hi, Moonface. Moonface, do you like apples? He doesn't eat fruit, hmm? Sabu. Hmm. But a toucan does. Beaks up! Oh, nice catch, toucan. Well, maybe <laughs> Moonface can't do that, but he does have a message. From the animal helpers. Hi, guys. Hi, Zabu. Amy here. I love strawberries, so I planted some in my garden. I watered them and took care of them. And now they're ripe and ready to pick. And boy, they're good. Oh, I see somebody else who loves strawberries. I better not eat them all. Because today, I'm helping my mom make strawberry jam. And you know what the best part about making jam is? Eating it! Green creatures help everybody. Yep, and now it's your turn to help them, Zabu. OK, I can do that. Hey, Popcorn, I brought all the grapes you can eat. Here, help yourself. Yeah, yummy, huh? Yep, dig in. Red is a yummy color. Oh, excuse me, here, want some more? <laughs> when you've eaten the fruit, you're ready to plant the seeds. Because when a creature eats fruit, she eats the seeds, too. Then she carries the seeds in her body to another part of the forest and drops the seeds off in her poop. And that's where another tree will grow. So, animals help plants by moving their seeds around. See ya, Popcorn. Oh, I think Popcorn's going to drop off seed more right now. Seed more? Yeah, that's what I named the seed that Popcorn ate. Well, let's follow Popcorn and see where she puts seed more. But first, to, to the, the closet! closet! Sounds like a trip to me. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. It's now or never. Do it, brother. Hey! You're hey. right! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. See you later, Zabu. Bye, brothers. I'll be fixing the green speaker. Yeah. Well, 
We made it to India. And if Flapgirl's heading home, he should be just up ahead. Hey. <laughs> I can't say anything. Oh, I can't either. It's thick in here. Oh, where do we go? Whoa! Look out! Whoa! Oh. Whew. Didn't see that one coming. Yeah, but look what we found. An old Indian ruin. Wow, let's check it out. Big door's locked, but the little door's open. Come on. This place is awesome. You're telling me. Wow, this fortress was built over a 1,000 years ago. That's a lot of years. But now it's deserted by people anyway. And since there are no human creatures here anymore, the green creatures are coming back. They're taking over and making a forest again. Making a forest again. Making a forest again. Look at the way the fig tree wraps itself around the pillar and sends its roots down into the ground. And look at this. Check out how the roots find their way through the cracks and go in and out the building. They'll go through anything to get to the soil. Listen, it's coming from inside. Let's take a look. Bats! They're tomb bats, and there are about 30 of them living in this ancient schoolhouse. Amazing! It's their home now. And you know what? Green creatures are making it possible for all sorts of other creatures to move in and make this fortress their home. Langer monkey, jumping from tree to tree. Wild dogs on the run through the forest. And the tiger, camouflaged in the grass. And <laughs> the wild pig, rooting in the soil for food. A lot of creatures love these bear fruits. And by eating them, they plant more seeds. Let's help these creatures plant more seeds. So even more creatures can grow. Furball. Furball. Uh, nice <laughs> shot. <laughs> Thanks. Let's see your swing, Chris. All right. Woo! Hole in one. Take that. <laughs> I've been working on my short game. Yeah! Woo! Oh, yeah! Right in the pocket. Sunk it. Next shot's the winner. Miss. Oh. At the buzzer. Miss. Oh. Score? Who made the winning basket? Wasn't me. Wasn't me. Popcorn! Hey, you won the furball game, buddy. And Seedmore won, too. Happy growing, Seedmore. Let's head back to Animal Junction. Great, I'm starving. I wonder what Zabu's up to. Let's find out. Zabu! Where are you, buddy? Pizza! Spaghetti! Yum. <laughs> hey, brothers, I caught you. <laughs> We fell for the oldest trick in the creature world! Good one, Zabu! Thanks! I did it just like my pal! I'll be right back! How was that, Venus? Perfect! I'll show you what I do again! See that fly? I'll catch him! Manga, Sika! Brothers, come quick! The plants are alive! This plant here can catch flies! Just like I caught you! Well, let us out of here, Zab! Oh, yeah! Thanks, Zabu! Whoa, Venus fly traps! Yeah, and Venus just showed me how to catch a fly, and she just trapped a fly. Well, tell him, Venus. Oh, no. Not again. <laughs> I don't know about plants talking, Zabu, but I know what you're talking about. See that water in there? Those are sugary droplets that flies love to eat. That's why the Venus fly trap makes them, to attract the flies in. Well, that's why I put pizza and spaghetti out for you guys, because I know you like to eat it. <laughs> right, and it worked. And when a fly comes in to get the sugar, his legs touch the inside of the plant, and that's when the jaw-like things of the Venus fly trap snapshot, and she catches the fly. Why do these plants need to eat flies? I thought you said plants only need soil, sunlight, and water, and they can make their own food. You're right, Zabu, but Venus fly traps live in areas where there isn't much nutrients in the soil. So, they eat flies to get their nutrients. Wow! Do you want to see her do it again? Pretend this is a fly. Whoa, nice catch! Green creatures are amazing! <laughs> no. Hey! That reminds me of a special berry that grows on Mount Sabumafu. Really? In 
Zabu land. I was leaping along, leap, 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 when I bumped into Sensit. Oof! I said, hello, Sensit. Oh, hi, Zabu. I'm worried, really worried. What's wrong? I can't find my little sister. Can't find them anywhere. Even my super senses can't find them. If we were taller than the trees, we'd see them for sure. Oh, but we're not taller. We will be. Hey, Snow Lemur, you have a growberry? Oh, sure. Uh, sure, Zabu. Uh, one growberry uh, coming up. Uh, I mean, uh, down. Yeah, down. Uh, here it comes. Uh, oh, watch out. Oh. 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 <laughs> there, one for you and one for me. So we ate the growberries, and we grew bigger and bigger. We grew so giant that we could see clear across Zabu land. Oh, there they are! My little sister's there with Bibby! Oh. Here, Sensit, have a shrink berry. So we shrunk back to normal size and went over to Phoebe's pool. Wow. Wow. I found them! Thanks, Zabu! Anytime, Sensit. Sometimes it's good to grow tall. And sometimes it's good to be small! Yeah! The end. I just love those green creatures. This animal is a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his funny behind All the friends that we met today Are special in their own way We've all got different names But we're really all the same Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came These animals are friends of mine They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb One more thing we have to say Go make an animal friend today! Guys, I got an apple seed to plant. <laughs> Bye, Zabu. Keep on leaping, Lemur. See you later, buddy. And we'll see you later, too. Hey, Chris, you know, I wonder, did Zabu's green speaker really work? I don't know, but he sure knew a lot about plants that we didn't tell him. Yeah. The green creatures are alive. Hi, my name is Sam. This is my dog, Cleo. 